All right, today I'm going to show you how to use um, Anuku Time Tracker application, which is um, a free web-based uh, uh, tool to track your work time. So, the first thing you need to do is to go to this URL here, which is https uh, slash slash time tracker anuku.com. And when you get there, you will see a page like that. So the first thing to do is to create um, um, a manager account for your team. So you do it by clicking this uh, uh, link, create new manager account, and you get to this page. So say, for example, I would like to create a simple account for manager manager at anoka.com password password anoka now email is optional but it's good to have it in case you you need to recover your password when you forget it so uh, I recommend uh, supply an email but if you don't want to you can leave it empty so here we are and um, click submit and uh, yeah we get to this page and uh, basically it's um, it's the home page for you for your team now now uh, the, the first uh, the, the first thing to do now is to uh, 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 to create a few projects for example, I go to the projects page here and I can add a, a project, say time tracker project and you can assign people to it and right now the manager, which is me, is checked in, so I click that and you can add another project, say um, business administration or whatever Click add. So now I have two projects defined for my uh, for my team. Now the next step is to define the activities. Uh, for example, uh, I would be doing some coding, hopefully, for the time tracker application, maybe. So let's do that. And maybe let's add another activity just uh, for for testing. right and I'll assign it to two projects and you can have many many of them so now you see that I have uh, I have a couple of projects and I have uh, a couple of activities which are associated with some projects okay and now you can have some people too this step is optional if uh, if you are just one person but if you have a team you can you can add additional people say user Zero one. Well, I just used email, so that is easy to remember. And, uh, okay, I'll just copy and paste it here. Email, just to keep things simple. So, and you can assign people to the projects. This means that these people. This person will be able to uh, uh, to enter the time records against this particular projects. You can also make a person a co-manager. A co-manager is a special role that allows this particular person to um, to administer the team. But this is for later. Okay. So now let's do it like that, and I'll just show you how you track your work time. So it's really easy to do. Basically, you just go to my time page right so you see this layout here so you select the project and you select your activity and you can select your start and end time provide some comment right and uh, click on the submit button here down below and here we are now this center is created and uh, you actually we also have a, a, a chart for the manager now if you want to create another entry so you do it like that was it coding? no it was just on C so it was doing some coding for an hour right 
simple entry for coding. So, and you can submit it like that. And uh, now for this uh, day of July 6, 2011, I have a couple of entries here. See, like one minute for uh, for uh, testing and one hour for coding. Right, and the, uh, the chart shows me how this was done. So this is pretty much it. Uh, and um, like you work with the application by just um, going to this page and uh, entering your time. And when necessary, you can uh, create reports and um, invoices if you want. But let's just uh, see how how to get uh, to this page after logout. So basically, we, we go to the same URL here, like like you see, like we can just uh, omit the login to keep things simple. So let's say this is this is the the page and uh, I provide my my password here and now I get to my uh, home page which is my time by default and here are my entries and if I want to create another entry I just go like that business administration testing uh, 22 15 another entry oops right so this is it, uh, very simple, easy to do, free, open source. You can use it uh, at this Anoko um, uh, website or you can um, you can grab the code and install on your own server. And the, the server here provides free hosting for small teams. If you need a larger team, you can, um, you can install on your own hardware or in the cloud or, or buy a subscription service from from Anoko company so if you have any questions you can uh, you can um, uh, let me know and uh, I'll be happy to provide some answers if I if I know the answers okay thank you very much bye bye